going on everybody and welcome back to the channel uh, we're back here in planet zoo with another episode of uh, otter creek now the first thing i want to mention before we get started is of course the kingathon 2021 uh definitely going to be a big deal this is a, a, a charity event organized by Pawsley where many streamers and content creators come together to try to help raise money uh, to feed the animals down at uh, Kingo Wildlife Ranch in South Africa um, pretty much all this month the majority of my videos except at least the ones that are being recorded after uh, everything has been announced and all that stuff uh, will have something we'll have some connection with that event as well as uh, all the information down below if you would like to donate uh, do not put yourself in a financial hardship to do so but if you can uh, links will be in the description below along with other information that uh, you may need uh, also if you want to be a part of this event uh, please let uh, let me know down in the comments or if you do know Paul's Lee then uh, definitely let him know as well uh, the more the merrier right uh, also uh, the event, the main uh, part of the event will be taking place July 22nd through July 25th, where those four days there'll be tons of streams and videos and all kinds of stuff from many, many different people around uh, the world. Uh, it's also important to note that even though the event doesn't technically take place until July 22nd, uh, starting July 22nd to 25th, you can still donate right now uh, all month of July. Uh, so please, please consider doing so. It'll definitely help out. Uh, uh, everyone down at King of Wildlife Ranch to uh, feed those animals because that is the most important thing right now is to making sure that these animals are fed and uh, well taken care of and uh, also want to point out that none of the money that is raised will go to anybody that has taken taken part in this charity event it all goes to Kingo Wildlife Ranch uh, so make sure to keep that in mind uh, any more information you need will be down below uh, throughout my videos you also see you might see something pop up on the screen uh, such as the thing that you see on the edge now uh, so you know those are just there to kind of remind you to, to take a look into it uh, yeah it's gonna be a lot of fun and I can't wait for it to to really get underway uh, I'm gonna be doing a project a collaboration project with someone uh, for the event I won't be doing a live stream of course because that's I don't I don't live stream but we're gonna do a little bit of a, a zoo littles mini zoo in honor of the uh, Kingo Wildlife Ranch and of course the Kingathon 2021 uh, event uh, and also possibly maybe jumping into a live stream with uh, the uh, the park insider uh, possibly that is not set in stone yet uh, at the time of this recording uh, we haven't really discussed too many of the details yet uh, because I'm recording these episodes early in advance so uh, things will change and uh, if they change I will let you know as soon as I can now to, to get into what we're going to be doing today, uh, that's the second thing I want to talk about is I'm uh, going to have to kind of break a promise to you guys that I made about uh, not including speed builder time or, uh, or uh, cuts in these, uh, in these episodes for this series. There won't be no cuts, but unfortunately I am going to start doing uh, some little bit of speed building uh, when it comes to this series, mainly because, you know, we're, we're still not done with this entrance over here. It's, we're on the, what, this is the fifth episode. Uh, I feel like we're not getting anywhere fast enough and I'm not saying I'm trying to rush it it's just that you know I'm a slow builder it takes me uh, time to get things done uh, so this is gonna be the first episode where we're gonna have a speed build the speed build that you're gonna see is gonna cover the taking this uh, roof on each of these uh, building parts uh, parts of the building over here and we're gonna knock it off and we're gonna build a new roof which is gonna be a flat roof with some uh, edge edge detailing I guess you could say I might throw a, uh, a a uh, solar panel up there or something. So we're going to take care of that. And we're also going to take care of this. And we're going to build our entrance sign, which I have a reference image over here to my right on my laptop screen uh, that I'm going to be looking at and building from. So that'll be the time lapse. Now, each episode will be like this. We're going to have small time lapses and stuff like that. So what's going to happen is this. Right now, uh, we're going to go ahead and get these billboards in. I have made some billboards. They're crappy billboards. They're ugly, but they'll do. Uh, I'm not an artist. I'm not good at Photoshop or anything like that. So uh, that's just what we're going to have to deal with. Unless someone wants to make me some. But other than that, that's what we're going to go with. We're also going to replace the benches and bins because I've decided I do not like them. I don't think they match uh, good enough. Uh, we definitely need some wood ones in here. So I'm going to get that classic wood one uh, to replace that. And I believe that's it. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get to that right now. So first things first, I'm going to get these replaced. So let us choose, uh, let's see, I got the 
Got four signs to put up. Uh, let's see, we got the Otter Creek ticket sign. And over here, we're going to have the uh, Otter Creek ticket prices. So just like that, if you want to get a better look at them, that's what they look like there. And these are just taken from my local zoo uh, and everything like that. So uh, it's just a, it's just a, just a thing I threw together. Like I said, it's nothing special, nothing special at all. So there's that. And then we're going to go over here and we're going to do the same with the season passes. We're going to have these season passes on this side. So season pass sign, which is the same exact thing as the one over there along with the season pass prices, which again are taken from a local zoo. There we go. It definitely adds something to it for sure. So, all right. So next we're going to get rid of this terrible idea for benches and bins. I know some of you may actually like them, but I'm just uh, not a fan. Uh, they don't look as good as I thought they would be in my mind. Despite the fact that we changed the color on them, to me, they still feel too Asian and uh, too Asian themed, should I say? And uh, that's not what we're going for in this series, uh, obviously. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what we got. So I'm thinking with the benches, we're going to use these because they're they could be painted. I like these here, but uh, I'm not sure about that uh, design on the top there. I don't know what it is. A dragon or something or a griffin but anyway we're gonna take this and we're gonna change the color of the planks to a darker brown just like so and of course we're gonna do the same thing we did before uh, we're gonna put them in the same spots now there will be more benches uh, eventually as we finish up the entrance area uh, but for now we're just gonna put them where we know they're gonna be needed at the moment think we can go ahead and add one here and add one here same on the other side okay I think that's enough benches we'll put some more benches around here but this is gonna be changed so and for the maybe we can use this maybe if we take the rock color and make it a dark gray and for the wood we'll make it the same color as everything else and what's this the metal color uh, we'll just do it black that's okay because the stone kind of adds to it a little bit you know it kind of matches the rest of the uh, the zoo so I think that's fair and we're gonna drag it out actually I want to go ahead and rotate it That was weird. I have to rotate it again. Put one there. And here. Alright, I know that we had some out here. So let's go ahead and put one there. And there. And then we're going to do the same over here as well. So I think this looks a little bit better. I think they match the... Uh, the aesthetic we're looking for. I'm sure that uh, you guys could probably agree. And we're going to put one bin here, one bin there, and same on this side. One bin there, one bin there. So we could, we're going to put lamp posts here, but we don't need them here because we have the lights coming off the building there. So uh, that is not necessary. Now I think we forgot to delete the ones on this side. We did. Let's go ahead and delete those. And let's go ahead and replace these over here. And there we go. Awesome. All right, so again, uh, the plan now is to build the sign and get this all ready to go, uh, destroy these ugly roofs and make a new one. That'll be in the time last, and then we will come back, and if there's anything else that needs to be done, we will do it, such as adding some lamp posts and uh some benches uh, around the area as well so yeah uh we're gonna jump into the time lapse now uh and after that we will jump right back into the real time so i'll see you after the time lapse
okay guys we are back i hope you guys enjoyed the uh the speed build there and i hope that you guys really like the the outcome of our little sign here again special thanks to uh the absolute legend uh that is haribo for these really cool uh rock wall sets uh, they really came in handy i was going to build my own little rock pillar for these uh, columns here but i was like why uh when we can use these and uh it matches the rest again haribo you are a legend and uh definitely keep up the good work and uh, adding these really cool blueprints on the workshop for all of us to use but yeah i just kind of built up the sign using my reference image and uh use the uh the logo that our, our good friend park insider has made for us and uh, made a little sign for us so and then of course added all the foliage uh added these uh little circular stone planters to go in the middle here i think that one thing that this zoo is also sorely missing is uh the red and yellow uh color of the trees so I think uh, before you see the cinematics, I'm probably going to replace these with something like that so it kind of matches a little bit better. Maybe add one over here as well or something. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I think that'll pretty much do it. I, I hope everyone likes the roof too. I think if anything, I'm going to remove the concrete and replace it with the vertical wood pieces. Uh, so I'm probably going to try that. I'm going to do that off camera though because you already see me build it. There's no reason for you guys to uh, sit here and have to watch me uh, rebuild it once again. Now, when it comes to the rest of the area here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably build a wall that encompasses this entire area here, and uh, we're going to fill this background up here with trees. The only bad thing about doing that would be that uh, that it, it will block off the sunlight that that kind of is on this entrance here. So we could also build a parking lot as well, but I'm just... Uh, I'm not sure yet so that might be the new next episode in all honesty if I do build a parking lot I'm not very good at them so I might uh, hold off on that and uh, uh, see what everyone else thinks uh, you let me know down in the comment sections but uh, before we get off here I'm going to let you guys know what we're gonna be doing next and that is if we don't do the parking lot of course uh, we're gonna be extending this out to make another plaza back here on one side is gonna be a gift shop one side is going to be a restaurant and in the middle, we're going to have our first two animals, which are going to be exhibit animals. Uh, reason being is because our first actual habitat animal will be here. So, I actually think I'm planning on having the... It all come out here, and then we're going to drop the uh, terrain down. Probably about four meters uh, to start off with the zoo or whatever. We're also going to have a few staff facilities back here as well. And then I'm probably going to build some kind of wall that starts here. And kind of goes around so it kind of blocks everything off now the idea i had for this was sort of like a little rustic zoo park style thing in the middle of a city and uh in the background eventually we're going to have some skyscrapers that i had down off the workshop as well to go in the background uh, it'll really give it that backdrop uh, i think so yeah it's a uh, it's coming together and i hope everyone really really enjoys it uh so right before we get off here though one thing I want to do is I want to kind of go over the uh, the settings. So I know that I was gonna I said before we were gonna to try to keep the settings uh, in line with uh, you know franchise, and we are. But at the same time, we're also gonna be changing it up just a tad bit. All right. So we're gonna have animal welfare on. Okay, but we're not gonna have animal deaths. We'll keep the illness, and we will keep the. Uh, the aging and birth so we can have babies so they can't die but they can age and then of course the animals can breed uh, we're also going to keep this one off as well for the social where social where I can't talk social welfare we are going to make sure that the social groups see it says turned off so when you have it checked that means that this is on so social groups will be a thing all right we're actually going to turn this off we're also going to turn off overcrowding and we're going to leave the animal stress on we're going to leave the animal fights on actually no we're gonna we're gonna turn that off and we're gonna turn off predation and fear and the reason why is because I want to do some mixed habitats in this zoo that are animals that normally wouldn't live together for instance like uh, our first animal habitat animal is going to be a reindeer and I'm going to put another animal in with it. Now I'm not going to do carnivores and herbivores or anything like that. So we're not going to have rain, reindeer and grizzly bears. 
but it'll be a reindeer with something else, uh, if, if you know what I mean. Uh, for the habitat welfare, we're going to keep make sure that uh, we have to worry about the water cleanness. We have to water uh, worry about the poo. Uh, we'll have to worry about the temperature needs. Actually, you know what? We're going to turn that off. I don't want to worry about that. We're also going to worry about uh, not worry about the terrain and the plants because I don't want barren habitats, especially in the zoo. The zoo is a very nature-esque type uh, place, so we want lots and lots of foliage. Uh, we are going to worry about the hard shelter. Uh, we definitely want to worry about that, and we're going to worry about the food spoiling because uh, we do want that element of animal care uh, in this zoo. For general general welfare, uh, see it turned off, which doesn't no longer show up. So we're going to allow protesters to be here. Actually, no, we're not. I don't like the protesters; they get on my nerves. Uh, inspections. We're going to make sure that uh, inspectors can come and inspect the zoo. Uh, we're going to turn off the escapes. And we're going to keep the barrier, barrier dilapidation. So, yeah, we're going to keep that on. All right, so that is for the for the uh, animals. Now for the guests. We're not going to limit the number of guests just yet. We are going to make sure we worry about the guest happiness, guest energy, guest hunger, thirst, toilet needs, uh, education, and stuff like that. Uh, so we're not going to maximize it. We're going to have to worry about education ourselves. Uh, I'm going to turn off vandalism. Because I, I don't really want to worry about the vandalism at the moment. Uh, pickpockets. Uh, we're going to leave that on. It gives us uh, something for the security guards to do. Uh, increase guest stay. We're not going to do that. Infinite gas, guest cash. No. Uh, enable guest fleeing. Uh, we'll turn that off. doesn't really matter. We're not going to have escaped animals anyway. Uh, we'll leave the litter on. Uh, and we're not going to worry about uh, negative effect because it's stupid. Uh, simple as that and then we're going to go to the economy settings and uh, we're still going to do unlimited cash and uh, unlimited credits but we're not going to power everything again something we're going to have to worry about ourselves gives us a little bit of challenge we are going to keep our fully trained staff on we're going to turn this off and this off we do have to focus on keeping our staff happy and uh, well rested but we are going to do the staff choosing to quit so keep that off because or keep that on because we don't want them quitting there's no reason to quit. If, if they don't like it, they can get over it. That's the way I... I mean, at my job, that's the way they treat me. So we'll, we'll do the same here. Uh, but yes. Uh, so we're going to turn it off. So they can't quit. So there we go. I think that's... Uh, I think that'll do it. So we have some challenges, but we also have some parts that will make it to where we can take it a little bit easy. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. So... Real quick, we're going to go ahead and do this now. I want to go ahead and delete this side. Because we're going to redo this. We're going to get rid of the concrete. And we're going to fill it up with the vertical wood. So I think it'll look a little bit better than this. This don't really match. To be fair, you don't see this, of course. like in reali Realistically, if you're at a zoo, you wouldn't see the top of the building. But the thing is, is we are still going to see the top of the building. So I'm going to get rid of all this, and we're going to replace it with the vertical wood. That'll also make it easier because the vertical wood, vertical wood is a lot thinner than the concrete, as you can see. All right. So we're going to do four meters. That's weird. All right, let's do two meters. Does that stick out? All right, we're gonna do two meters. Go ahead and fill this up. Now there is some cross fighting. Uh, I'm not going to really worry about that too much because again, we're not going to really see it. And if anything, I'll fix it later, but I want to make sure to keep these the, uh, the same group. And we're going to drop this down to one, just like so, and just like so. All right, 
Now, as you can see, we no longer need the top part here. And this is what I was talking about earlier. And again, cross fighting. At the moment, I am not worried about. We can fix that later. It, don't get me wrong, it bugs me. Uh, I do have uh, some OCD. So, you know, it genuinely does bug me that uh, the cross fighting. But it's something I can overlook at the moment. And it looks like. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's about right. All right, now. We need to lower these down. Let's go ahead and get these. Get rid of these. All right. Like so. So much cross fighting. It really is. Uh, it really does bug me. But you know, it's just it's the way it is. So, and then we can go ahead and copy this over. So let's grab everything, duplicate it, make sure it's the same height, and bam, done. There we go. Okay, that looks better. The, the, it's not as thick, if you know what I mean, like the uh, the trim here. So I think it works. It's too bad these Arctic pieces are not colorable because they would really fit better if they were the same color as this. But I don't know, I think, uh, I think it looks good. I'm really proud of this sign, by the way. I'm, I'm really glad I looked up the, uh, the thing. I think one thing it might need, though, is let's look up some, some kind of foliage that we can place on it. Uh, something smaller than that? I don't think we have anything smaller than that, do we? No. All right, let's see if we can find something else. What about, uh, this? Because if we can sink this in... I don't know. Nah. No, it's not working. We're going to find something to put there. You'll see what I mean, because we want to sink some uh, foliage into it like that. You know, it kind of adds to it. But I don't know if the bracken's working either. What about this stuff? Yeah, okay, so this is small. So yeah, we can just add this around. So, all right, cool. Looks all right. Mm, kind of doesn't. It does that weird pop in, pop out thing. You can see. I don't like that very much, but that's okay. That's okay. All right. So, uh, before we get off here again, I'll go ahead and show you what I meant by putting the dry stone around. Oh, we're in foliage. But yeah, I, I may do the uh, parking lot if I do one uh, off, off, off screen. I don't know yet. All right, exit that. All right. So this is what I meant. Is starting this. And just kind of filling in this area to kind of keep the guests from going over there. And before we continue, we can actually about right there, about in the center, I would say. And we'll go ahead and continue this on. OK, 
Cause you, I don't know how to explain, it, but you kind of you need like an end somewhere, if you know what I mean. Like a, I don't know. You just you need it. To, it needs to end. I don't know how else to explain it. You gotta have some kind of barrier or something. There we go. And then we can move it to make sure it matches. Like so. There we go. And then again, we can put little planters here as well. Matter of fact, we can just get rid of that piece all together. Just like so. Get rid of that one. And keep those there, of course, because we want more room. But yeah. And then uh, if we do do some kind of... Uh, parking lot we can remove that one and that one uh, not that one that one and that one that'll be like the entrance way have a, a small planter here maybe and then do a parking lot out here so I don't know let me guys know what you got uh, let me know what you guys think in the in the comment section below uh, and we'll definitely uh, we'll definitely do that and then if that's the case I think okay so it, it's official the next episode will be some sort of parking lot something here to kind of to tie this all together and then we can surround that with trees around the edges. Uh, you know, I keep forgetting things. Let's go ahead and check it out. Uh, so we're always going to use Tega, Temper, and Tundra. Let's find some of them orange or uh, yellow, red trees. Because I think they'll match better when it comes to matching this sign. It's like stuff like this. Now, even though it's Japanese, is it really a big deal if it is Japanese, right? I don't think so. So we have that one. We'll go ahead and just uh, stick a couple out here. What else do we have? Oh, we already got some of them. See, we got some yellow ones. But those are too tall. Are they? All right, we're going to go ahead and leave those out. These are our options. So um, we even got these. These are sugar maples. Those would probably work better than the Japanese ones, I would say. Yeah, and that's it. So we're not going to use the Japanese for obvious reasons. Uh, the yellow. Let's go ahead and go with the orange. So we're going to get rid of that one and that one. Let's use a small one. Let's make sure that we have a line of surface off. And make sure that it is center. Go ahead and copy it over to the other one and how we'll do this one. So we'll make it a little bit taller. And just like we did with the other one. Do that and we'll rotate it. Just like so. So they do look a little bit different. Actually, you know what? We're going to go ahead and uh, make it even lower. There we go. I don't know about you guys, but I think that works a heck of a lot better. Now, I wonder if we could put one of these on each side of here. I don't know. Here, we'll put some trees as well. And we can here, we could probably put bigger trees. So maybe we could put big trees here when we build little planters uh, for that. Because if you put trees here, it's not really blocking the main entrance. I just didn't want... Uh, giant trees here to where it blocks everything if you, if you know what I mean so we'll, we'll do it that way but yeah uh, I think that's gonna do it folks uh, so definitely let me know uh, what you guys think of the new format of this series you know even though I promised we weren't gonna do speed builds you know I feel like we need to do something to get this series good moving right and I'm a slow builder and that's a problem right so that's what we're gonna do uh, but I did, one of the promises I'm going to keep is I'm not going to build things off camera. Uh, even though I built a lot of this, but as you can see in the last episode, I had some technical difficulties, so it wasn't done on purpose. So yes, I think the next episode is we're going to try to build some sort of parking lot or something. And I'm thinking because this is an old, rustic, very nature-esque style of park, we're not going to do a blacktop. We're going to do a dirt 
or a sandy uh, parking lot. I think that's going to work best. And also down in the comment section below, let me know if you want me to put this on the workshop. The only reason why I'm a little hesitant about putting this on the workshop is because the pieces that I used here, these columns, are not mine. But I don't see why, I don't think Haribo would mind as long as I uh, threw some credit to Haribo. And of course, I would have done that anyway. Uh, never in a million years would I ever not give someone credit for something they, that they have done. Uh, just, it ain't gonna happen. So, I may go ahead and put it on the workshop. But let me know in the comment section if you want it, and I will do it. Uh, thank you guys so much. Uh, don't forget Kingathon, Kingathon 2021. Uh, please donate if you can, but do not put yourself in any kind of financial hardship by doing so. Uh, if anything, and if you can't donate, just uh, come and join us on July 22nd through the 25th for all the streams, videos, and all that stuff. Uh, but don't forget, this is going on all month long. So you'll see videos and streams all month long about this kind of stuff. So keep an eye out for it. All that details will be in the description below. Uh, there are a few episodes that came out before this. So when you see this, the episodes that you saw the week previously, you might have noticed that there was no mention of Kingathon in it. It's because I made those episodes before I even knew that Kingathon was happening. And uh, they were already up and scheduled, so I decided to leave those be. But I did add in the description all the, all the uh, information about Kingathon anyway. I just didn't mention it in the video. So I apologize for that. It's not because I didn't care or I just didn't think about it. It's just because they were already done. But anyway, guys, I'm going to stop rambling. Uh, Kingathon 21, 2021. Kingathon 2021. Uh, don't forget, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, thank you guys for stopping by. Much love to every single one of you. Uh, take care of yourself. Stay safe. And I will see you in the next video.